What is going on people? Leo here from Creative Tech Lab. So we are going to talk today about the RX100 Mark 7 being your main talking head camera and can you shoot your YouTube videos in a similar setup like this and what the results would be. But first and foremost, welcome to Creative Tech Lab. My name is Leo. This is the YouTube channel to accompany our website, creativetechlab.com, where we do talk about all things creative, including audio engineering, music production, run and gun videography, photography, all that good stuff. Mainly on the channel right now, we're talking about videography and I've done a ton of videos on the Sony RX100 series and including the new Mark 7, which we're talking about today. So the biggest addition to the Mark 7, or one of the biggest additions I should say, was the inclusion of the microphone input. And I have used this, the previous version of this camera to shoot all of my YouTube videos. And ironically, I don't normally shoot over here. I normally shoot in a different set if you've seen all my other videos, but all the videos this week have been shot over here. This is actually my dining room because I've been doing some unboxings. And I've been using a top down camera, which has been stuck to the chandelier. Um, and all that good stuff. But um, I've got a lot of comments on this particular setup um, from a few people, just because I think with the teals in the background in those circles behind me, when it is color graded and it gives this look right here, it gets a nice little look. And some people are asking me if I got a new camera, which I didn't, all those were shot on the six. They were just color graded a little bit differently and could be used as a talking headshot. So you could 100% get, 100 get a Sony Alpha look out of this camera. I'll get into my settings on what I'm shooting here real quick. But again, the biggest addition here is that I don't have to set up all this stuff. So let me grab shooting on the seven now and the eye autofocus is amazing. Oh no, battery is dying on this. But the main thing here is that this is what my setup used to look like before. That's the Photo DX light dome. That's my Rode mic. Then I have this going into there and all that there. I don't have to do that anymore. Right now, hold up, let me just get another clip here. Right now we have the first setup I have, I'm tethered. See, I'm tethered right here. And I have the lav mic going into, directly into camera. We'll see what the preamp sound like as opposed to on my, um, on my audio interface. And then we're just going straight into here. And then the next thing we'll do here is I got the Sarmonic mic as well to test out. Um, we'll see how that goes. Battery just died on this, so we're just gonna keep running. But I have the Sarmonic mic here to test on this to see what that audio sounds like as well. But this super, this is super just run and gun. You could just plug this in. And as long as you have good lighting, like we do here, um, you're ready to go. The only other thing I have back here is lighting me up. Um, if you ever see, no, not too many people watch this particular video, but I did a video just on the easiest lighting setups you could do to start a YouTube channel, including just sunlight. But the Fovitech lights that I do have behind me were my first set of lights. They're pretty amazing, they're super cheap. I just have one just throwing up the lights back there and then that's it. So yeah, um, I will leave a link to the light dome and the Godox light. That light is super cheap. It's only a hundred bucks or so. Um, it gives you a uh, thousand dollar type light setup. It's the poor man's aperture of 120D. If you follow all these YouTube channels and you're saving up your money for an aperture 120D, I would say completely go ahead and skip it until you're big enough to actually pay for one. Go ahead and get one of these instead. But yeah, with this mic setup, let me just go ahead and put this one in here and see what that sounds like as a test, as a talking head shot. And that's all you really need to get done. All right, so the other test here, we have the Saramonic mic plugged into the side. So obviously you could pull a lot of different mic options for this camera. You could go Rode Video Mic Micro or you could be ridiculous and go Rode Video Mic Pro. I think that's overkill for a camera that's supposed to fit in your pocket. So this is the sound coming off of the Saramonic mic. I think this is cool. It just plugs into the side. It doesn't change the framework of the camera, the form factor of the camera, I should say, too much more. And that's good. So this is a short, quick video here. However, I will be continuing to shoot today. So hopefully you'll see this tomorrow if I get a chance to edit this before tonight, whatever it is that actually ends up being. And we're gonna do a vlogging test. So we're heading down to Florida, straight into the hurricane. Um, 
because that's what we do. We're not afraid of hurricanes. Um, so we're going to do a vlogging test of me just leaving from the house, getting the kids, going to the airport, all the way to Florida. And I don't normally vlog, but I know a lot of people are looking to this camera, especially now that it has the microphone input into it as a great vlogging option. So I'm going to put it onto the the M2 as well, which we did the unboxing for. And we do a few more things when we're down to Florida. Hopefully we don't have super bad weather, but yeah, this is a quick just setup on how you could get pro grade looking image for your YouTube talking headshots with just a point and shoot camera and a cheap light and get it done. So I will catch you in the next video. Again, if you like this video or it helps you out in any particular way, inspired you to go get started on your YouTube channel, go ahead hit the like button, let me know what kind of setups you have for your talking headshots in your YouTube videos, and I will catch you in the next one.